Today we're going to be changing the power steering pump on the 2000 to 2006 Chevy Silverado and Chevy Tahoe. So our first step, we're going to want to take this intake tube off. And that requires loosening that clamp and that clamp. And that's 8 millimeter, both of these. Now we can remove this upper fan shroud. Take these two 10 millimeter bolts out. And you're gonna have four clips just like this, two on each side. You don't need to remove this. You can just bend it out of the way. Pull it straight up. So our next step is to remove the fan. We're gonna need our adjustable wrench. And they have this little handy tool that goes onto the water pump pulley. So it holds it from spinning while you're trying to break the fan loose. If you need one of these, I'll put a link in the description so you can pick one up. And your half inch ratchet or breaker bar can just go right into it. And just so you can see how the water pump pulley has those holes. And it just goes inside those holes just to hold the pulley in place. So our next step is to remove the serpentine belt. But before we remove it, just take a picture of the way your serpentine belt goes around all your pulleys. So we're going to go ahead and loosen our tensioner. We're just going to go clockwise. This is our 15 millimeter. And you can pull it off your alternator pulley. And we can go ahead and grab our bottom of our fan shroud and pull that out. So now we need to pull this pulley off the pump itself. And to do this, we have this pulley puller kit. We're going to use these and this to remove the pulley and then this will be to push it back on when we're ready i picked this kit up on amazon it's fairly cheap if you want to grab one i'll put a link in the description grab our first sleeve here that goes on this little groove then we can grab this part of the tool and we'll have another part of the sleeve which goes like that and this is the main sleeve that goes over and holds those in place. And then we can just snug this up by hand. Grab our adjustable wrench. And this is going to go here. And we will start tightening this up. And it's going to pull the pulley off the shaft. There's our pulley. So now with the pulley off the truck, I can show you a little better on how this tool works. Make sure the thinner part of this is on the pulley. And you take this part, make sure this stud goes into the hole. Then just make sure you have this one facing the same way as the other. And then the sleeve holds it all together. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. So we'll take our 15 and we will start removing all these bolts that attach the bracket to the engine, as well as the three that are holding the power steering pump to the bracket.
I'm just gonna disconnect this plug on the alternator. You got this little tab that you pull back and the plug pulls straight up. As well as just remove our battery cable from this bracket. It just pulls out. Should be able to move this or start out of the way. So looking at the back of our power steering pump, see we have this one line right here. That's a 16 millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and remove that. And if you follow the other line, it has this clamp. You're just gonna squeeze that and pull it back, and we'll be able to remove that. And we'll be able to take this pump right out. And we can pull this line off. the old pump out of there so before we install the new power steering pump switch this bracket over to the new pump as well as your cover if it didn't come with a new one like mine your new power steering pump should have came with this new gasket you want to make sure you put this on this pressure fitting So once you get your power steering lines all reconnected, you can go ahead and connect your power steering pump back to the bracket. This is still loose, I haven't connected this yet. So now we can grab our whole bracket here. And realign it, and we'll get our bolts back through. Reattach your positive box right here onto this bracket. And plug your alternator connector back in. Now before we install our pulley, we need to go ahead and torque all these bolts down. The four for the alternator bracket is gonna be 37 foot-pounds. And these three, one, two, three, are gonna be 17 foot-pounds. And out of our kit, I'm going to use this one, press the pulley back on. And what it does is it screws right in, get our pulley on there and start threading this on and we can grab our 14 millimeter wrench and socket <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and do this until it's pressed all the way on Loosen this up and remove this. Go ahead and get our serpentine belt back on. I like to leave it off the alternator pulley. Until I get the tensioner loosened up. Just slide it right over. 
Double check all your pulleys. Make sure your belt is sitting on them correctly. Put our lower fan shroud back in place. Reinstall our fan. And just snug it up. Now we can reinstall the upper part of our fan shroud. And reinstall our two bolts and your four clips. Sure you clip that back in place. Now we can reinstall our intake tube. Reinstall our negative terminal. And now we're gonna add power steering fluid. And now, last step, you're just gonna go in and start your truck up and make sure you turn your wheel all the way to the left and then all the way to the right, just to get the fluid everywhere. If this video helped you guys out, if you could give it a like, if you have any questions, leave a comment, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button.